gentlemen, good evening, and welcome to Scottsburg's Common Council. This is Monday, July the 25th, 2022, so we welcome all of you here. This will be a great evening for us tonight. I'll explain the agenda in just a minute. But we do begin by our call to order, as we're doing right now. After that, we have prayer and the Pledge of Allegiance. So if you all wouldn't mind to stand, let me pray and the Pledge of Allegiance. Father, we come before you this day on this Monday, the 25th of July. We thank you, Father, for life itself that you've given to us. And we've been able to be upon this pilgrimage of life, Father. And it's just been a joy to spend this day with you. We thank you, Father, for those here this evening. We thank you for the counsel you've provided, Father, for the residents that are here in each of these communities. Thank you, Father, for each community that is here. We pray your blessing upon them and the help they've given to Scottsburg. We just pray your presence. Be with us. We ask in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much. Our agenda is a little short tonight. Uh, let me just go through this real quick. You're going to see, uh, uh, we've had the pledge list. We're going to see the roll call in just a minute from our clerk treasurer. We'll have approval of minutes. We have our public comment section. We have one business item. Then we're going to get to announcements. And this is going to be, the first one we have is a Dr. Co coming. This is a night of thank yous. So, and I wanted our city council here. We have only one absent, and he is an integral part of our school system. And he's trying to get a few days of vacation before we go back to school. So but I want to cancel it here so we can all just, as representative citizens of Scottsford, to thank all of you for what you've done. So, uh, but that's kind of what we're, the way we're going to go. So the next thing we have here is the roll call by our clerk treasurer, Jan Hart. Mayor Amy. Here. Chris Albertson. Here. Bill Hoagland. Here. Rick Manns. Christian Evans. Here. Chuck Rose. Here. Well, thank you. The next thing we have is the approval of the minutes of the June 27th meeting. We have a motion to approve the minutes as presented. How much motion to approve? Christian uh, Chris, Christian makes a motion. Is there a second? No, second. Should I approve the second? Any questions, comments? Bring that on favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Manus, thank you very much. Okay, the next thing is we have is a public comment period. The City of Scottsford Council, City Council will accept public comments. Individuals wishing to address the council will be asked to come forward and state their name for the record. Each person will have five minutes to voice their opinion. The mark should focus on issues and not be used to target city employees or elected officials. Is there anyone here this evening that would like to come forward with, with any type of public comment? One once. One twice. Thank you very much. The next thing we have is new business for this evening. And uh, new business before you is Ordinance 2022 12, an ordinance amending the 2022 salary ordinance of the City of Scottsville. We have a motion to pass this as presented. Chuck Rose makes the motion. This is in the HR position. Is there a second? The HR position in the wastewater, correct? The all in one ordinance? It's all in one. It is. Yep. yep. And I, Jay, I left the same breakdown of the pay. That's I assume you saw that. But yes, I did look over that. Thank you, Josh.
I'll second if you could have a vote. Okay. So the second. Uh, are there any questions or comments that you'd like to ask? We aren't going to do this all in one night, are we? No, I, I'm going to vote no on this on the basis of the wastewater superintendent. Um, salary is not the issue. The issue is the increasing starting immediately. I know we had some discussion on that after giving it some thought. I think it's a scary precedent that we're going to set by increasing pay um, and starting it immediately in the middle of the year after we budgeted in a prior year. Um, so that's that's kind of where I stand on it. So we couldn't go forward because I'll be a no vote. It has to be in the same place. So you voted to go forward with the salary, just not in this year, is that what you said? What we met before? What we met before, we discussed the salary, and the discussion was held about talking to the employee that's being mentioned. And there was not, at least to my knowledge, a consensus at that time about when that salary would come into effect. There would have been a discussion between the employee and you to determine when that would be into effect. I don't know that I had a consensus on when that was going to be. I felt better about it being January 1st as opposed to immediately. Um, so again, I don't think that the salary is out of line. I think that starting immediately is a bigger problem that is going to set a precedent going forward. So that's. I wasn't necessarily okay with it because when I left the meeting, at least, I had written down that there was still to be determined when that salary would go into effect. So if that's my fault, I misunderstood, then I'll take ownership of that. But maybe you weren't here, but I did say this sort of I was there. I was there the entire meeting, and Councilman Manns was there as well. Um, I'll take ownership if I'm mistaken, but at this current time, starting immediately is a problem for me, so. I think if my memory serves me, wasn't there discussion about, with, with Jan as well, about amending salaries and budget times? <coughs> Jan, am I off on that? When we talked about maybe re, uh, rather than doing it immediately, doing it at budget time would make things easier. I don't recall, I just know one of the requests of the mayor was that he wanted some of the department heads being put on salary which I assume would start the first of the year, but I don't recall what we really, with this particular, in this particular position, in this particular, I'm not sure when we said, if it, if, if it happened, when it was to happen. Let me ask legal counsel.
discuss in the next few weeks. I'll amend my motion. Can we have an amendment then to the motion to accept the, the HR position only at this time? And then we will table the, the wastewater. Uh, you still want to say? I'll second the amended motion. Okay. Any questions on this one? Hearing none, I'll say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign? Unanimous. Okay. Thank you. Now, do we want to suspend the rules? <coughs> I'm assuming this is time sensitive.
Our Lord has blessed Dr. Crow and Grace with five children, Michelle, April, Jacqueline, BJ, and Matthew. Dr. Coe is a true American. Ten hours after the attack on uh, Pearl Harbor on December the 7th, 1941, the Japanese invaded the Philippine Islands. Dr. Coe was 11 years old at that point. His family lived in constant fear of the enemy. His family moving multiple places along, along the way to try to stay ahead of the Japanese with both hunger and mal malnutrition. These set the stage for Dr. Coe to say to our Lord, Here am I, Lord, send me. With a brilliant mind, and then Dr. Coe entered a pre-med program in 1952 and graduated valedictorian of his class in 1955. In 1960, young Dr. Coe made his future wife, Grace. What a beautiful name. Her family had an inter-island shipping line. Grace man majored in business, and in 1964, they married and moved to America. Here they lived in Jersey City, Baltimore, Chicago, San Antonio, Texas, and then Louisville, Kentucky. All the while, each advancing move brought about new surgical skills for Dr. Coe. In 1972, Dr. Coe was invited to be a surgeon here in Scottsburg, Indiana, at the Scott County Hospital. In your 50 years in Scottsburg, Doctor, you have held many hands and hearts of those who walk the pilgrimage of life. To Grace and the children, I want to say thank you for your many times that he had to leave his meal or your bedtime story and go to someone's cry for help. Doctor, thank you for your tireless days and nights that you have spent in an, out, in an operating room or someone's home where hope was lost and you brought light. May the Lord bless you, my brother, and thank you so very much. We have a gift for you here. And uh, I'd like for the city council to gather around you as well and uh, as we present this. If council can come up, we have a... <coughs> we would invite the Scott Kenny Herald and... and the, Blessed is he who has many of them. For like arrows. 
want you to know you're more than welcome to stay if you would like to. But we'll put all this in here for you, my brother.